Okay, here we go. A little hey, little ho. A little hi, little ho. Stuart Little. Remember that when that movie was a big fucking deal? I used to love that movie. That movie was great. And then they came out with the second movie. And I was like, eh. <laughs> And then Jonathan Taylor Thomas got really hot. Who? I think it's the kid who played the brother. Like the kid with the glasses and the blonde hair. You mean Jonathan with Mickey? Yeah, that guy. (laughs) I'm like, who? (laughs) Who is Jonathan Taylor? You mean Jonathan with (laughs) Mickey? Yeah, that guy. Welcome back to another episode of Gibberish. My name is Blake. Adam is currently watching the Chicago... Hi. Adam is currently invested in the Chicago Bulls and Milwaukee Bucks game. Go Bucks. Yay. Anyways, so we're going to get straight into this today. Diving right in. Diving headfirst into the shallow end. We have a preferred request from Austin Smith. I I suggest you just make like a pickle and let that one marinate. You mean brine. Oh. <laughs> that was Austin who suggested this. Yes. Okay. So Austin suggested we try this out. I've had pickle moonshine, not this kind before, but uh, hopefully the brand doesn't mislead us. Because the last time we had something that was all smoky was uh, life changing in a negative way. Yeah. <laughs> I have hopes that this is going to be somewhat like a pickleback. Yeah, I would assume so. In a way. I mean, I know picklebacks like pickle and whiskey, but I feel like just like alcohol, like the pickle really gets rid of that yeah. bite. So I was like, kind of hoping that... The, like in one of the episodes I said, like my relative who lives in Missouri makes moonshine and he had a pickle one. That was the best one. Really? I was literally like sipping on that the entire time I was up there. Interesting. I thought it was great. It was fantastic. I don't see how this could go wrong. I feel like with oh, I can see how it could go wrong. Oh yeah, me too. You know, (laughs) pickles fly everywhere. The jar's broken. I'm dead on the ground. You know, (laughs) not alive anymore. It's it's insane, man. So Austin, thank you so much for the suggestion. You've been great. We need more suggestions. So if you would like, share, and subscribe to Gibberish YouTube and also our TikTok and Instagram. We'd appreciate it to everyone watching this. We're having a lot of fun. With please, follow. Fo- please follow. Please. I'm living on the street. Anyways. I don't think it'll help. <laughs> <laughs> well, look at that guy who was the the guy who did the uh, thing to Fleetwood Mac on his, like, oh. on his, yeah, and he was drinking the, <clears> cranberry, the cranberry juice. juice. He got, like, 10 million followers and his life's completely changed. All right, so we're going to. Ooh, magic. <laughs> it's the magic of sad. Anyways, what? It's literally like opening a pickle jar. <laughs> it's so hard to open. <sighs> oh. <laughs> Impossible to get it off. The m- one slight turn just... My hand hurts. <laughs> Mine too. Watch, we were turning it the wrong way. The whole time. <laughs> Drink. So, I didn't even put this up to my nose, and I can already smell it. It just smells like a jar of pickles. It does. You don't even really smell moonshine. No. And that's a good thing, though. Good thing and bad thing. Yeah. The good thing is there's probably going to be a lot of flavor in this. The bad thing is is that it's going to wake you up before you go-go. Anyways. Wake me up. We should probably get into some of the stuff here. Uh, 40 proof. Um, I think it's... Yeah, it's 40 proof. So there's going to be a lot of flavor in this. 40 proof. Literally. It says 40 proof. 25%. Per- 20%. Right on there. That's not very strong at all. Zoom in. Woo. Okay. Extreme close up. No. Um, yeah, so it's actually not that strong. No. I think this one, they're definitely going for flavor. Okay. Do you want to pour it this time? Since the last time I tried to do this, it went horribly yes. wrong. <laughs> you have to pour it aggressively. Now that looks like Illinois River water. (laughs) All right. Old Smokey. See, when you take your time to pour it, it just lets it run right down the jar. There is floaties in it, but I'm assuming that's because of the pickles. 
No. Someone did something to this. What if they're like, I'm going to make cucumber moonshine. They come back like, who put pickles in my moonshine? I feel like this is gonna be good. I, I feel like this is gonna be good. Tastes like pickle juice. Yeah, there's a little more bite than a I was more. expecting. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. No, it's actually pretty pleasant. The nice thing with the pickles is that it takes away a lot of the yeah alcohol. Feeling. Which I mean, we kind of know that from picklebacks anyway. Yeah, but um, the sm- but it's smoother. Yeah, and it's mixed in together. And that's, mm-hmm. No, that's actually not bad. No, not at all. I, I like it. Me too. I don't know that it'd be something I wanted. to Drink, drink regularly, constantly, but yeah. it's not bad. But it's surprising how good I pickles think and alcohol. Definitely filled these way too high. You filled yours way too high. Yeah, we'll just take a few more sips. I took a little bit bigger of a drink that time and got a lot more. It gets more, better, but it's still good. Yeah, like it does. It tastes like pickle juice. Just, like this is like this, pickle, uh, something a little off with pickle juice. Yes, but this is dangerous because this I could drink all day or sip on all yeah, day. It's actually, and really then it'll good. be like three o'clock in the afternoon. I'll be like, Dude. oh no! I could. Could you imagine putting one of these like on a burger? That'd be pretty and, like, good. Or like you put one with a hot dog or something like that. Like a Chicago dog. Like a Chicago dog, only with a <laughs> moonshine pickle. That's not a bad idea. No, that's not a bad idea at all. Alrighty. What do you think? Do you want to take a few more sips? I'm gonna take like one more gulp out of it. Don't forget your pickle. It's a fat pickle. It's a long pickle. Voila, give me nine dollars. <laughs> Here is your craft beer. <laughs> Here's your craft beer. <laughs> we got Coors Light. <laughs> oh, you ready, sir? I guess I'm ready. <clears throat> uh. Clinkies. <laughs> Let me smack you in the face. You're just going to... Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> They're hard to get. <laughs> Definitely a lot more when you throw it to the back. You get, the, uh, you get a little bit of a burn. Yeah. But it's definitely not bad. Not in a bad way. The pickles taste very weird. Do they? Yeah. I don't know that I'm interested in. I probably pickle. wouldn't. So I'm not really. Because I'm pretty sure they use like the stuff they put in their moonshine. They use it as a conduit for most of the alcohol they put into it. Okay. So, this might be a bad idea, but it's not bad. <laughs> Definitely had a worse pickle. Mm-hmm. But no, that's my all. dad. <laughs> <laughs> what? Nothing. Anyways, um, I kind of want another shot. That's gonna be pretty good. I probably shouldn't though. You probably shouldn't. Yeah, I probably shouldn't. It spills all over you. I spilled less than you did. I just got a little bit. I only had a couple drops. Leave me alone. Yeah, I'll say that. That's that's, that's actually good. really good. I like that. I like that a lot. Definitely a fan. It's not as good as my relatives, but that's pretty good. For mass produced. Mass produced, yeah. It's definitely. It's actually not bad. Um, I think Old Smokey kind of uh, redeemed their themselves today. Yeah, now we gotta try one more just to like balance it out. Tie, you yeah. know? The Triforce. So, Old Smokey Pickle Moonshine. That's gonna spike so much in the, in the video. That will too. Adam, you want me to give my rating or you give your rating? You go ahead. I'm going to give this a solid three and a half. I think the flavor is good. I feel I like for some reason it seems like it's missing something extra. Like maybe it's the sour tartness of the pickle itself isn't as pronounced. Yeah. Like I feel like you should, what I would do with this is I would take 
a jar of pickles and bring it down to about here and then fill the rest with pickle juice. I feel I feel like that'd be delicious. And I feel like a lot of that bird yeah. would be gone too. But yeah. I agree. Uh, yeah, three and a half. Yeah, I'm with you with three and a half. Um, I think it's really good, but like I said, I, I don't know it's something that I would choose to drink regularly. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing crunches like a Vlasic. That's the tastiest crunch I ever had. <laughs> But it is very good um, in terms of like a pickle moonshine. I I, I did. I enjoyed it. A mass uh, production mickle. Not mickle. <laughs> a mass production pickle moonshine. Phil pickles it? <laughs> no, not the golfer. But yeah, go ahead. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> but no, like it, it just it's not something I would choose to drink regularly. But it, it is good if you're if you're into pickle flavored things. It definitely tastes. Definitely tastes like pickles. That's definitely a game changer. So, yeah, would recommend. At least give it a shot. All right. Your turn. I kind of closed us off <laughs> in the last episode. Well, I think that's going to pretty much wrap it up for us. Mm -hmm. uh, we hope you guys like this video, subscribe to the channel. Maybe if you feel like it, hit that notification bell so you know when we post. Yeah, you um, know, it goes dung. Like the Taco Bell one. Lip moss. Think outside the bun. But uh, we're we're still trying to be more active on our socials. Uh, follow the Instagram page, TikTok page. Follow us on Untapped. Uh, I think that pretty much does it. Mm hmm So, I am Adam. I am Eric Cartman. And thank you for joining us on another episode of Gibberish. Here you go. I'm going home. Want me to get you a beer? I'll have a beer. I'd have a beer. <laughs>